it is a definitely a challenge these days. Hello, Gregory. How are you? Hello. Fine. Thank you. Um, so let's talk about. Uh, I'm uh, looking how to. Yes. Share my screen. That's the technical suspense moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Nicola. So. Uh, uh, very glad to take part to this event. Uh, so we, um, uh, we talk about uh, the API modernization project we work on with Nicolas uh, from uh, Microsoft. And uh, I'm Gregory Toll, uh, working on Marketplace API at Cdiscount, uh, working on API for a few years and uh, very happy to participate to this event. I right, uh, Nicolas to introduce himself. Yes, thank you, Gregory. I'm, I'm Nicolas Barasson. I'm a cloud solution architect at Microsoft. Okay, so uh, uh, Gregory on this project. <laughs> Give you the end, Gregory. Go on. Thank you, Nicolas. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce the Cdiscount in general because it's uh, quite famous in France, but uh, we had a lot of uh, people from other country there. So uh, Cdiscount is the Europe's largest marketplace and uh, connects its customer with uh, more than 12,000 sellers from 70 countries. And uh, most of the growth of this marketplace last uh, years has been in uh, other countries. Other countries. Sure. A uh, little bit of history. So first, uh, uh, when it all started, but when it all started in 1998, uh, uh, was a sell, uh, sell some CDs, in fact, online, was a CD seller online. Uh, so, uh, so the youngest, Probably does not remember this time, but uh, at this time, Shopif Shopify was not uh, available, no dessert, not even Napster, and uh, selling, uh, CD selling was going pretty well, and that's why CDs got the interest of the casino group. So, so casino group, so it's a, re a big retail group. In uh, 2011, CDs marketplace have been uh, online with their API on which I work, to allow sellers to sell their product on sale discount. And 2019, we make available, we build a partnership with the biggest marketplace in Europe, uh, sharing our sellers, our product to increase uh, our audience. Now in 2020, we make an observation to that the API strategy was uh, a strategy, uh, API driven strategy was is essential for uh, the business, but for uh, for everything. In the last three years, uh, the audience of the API uh, increased and most uh, for more than one hundred percent, reaching more than uh, eighteen thousand uh, eighteen thousand uh, users consumers. More than 12% of sales volumes grows between 2018 and 2019. And the most important is uh, more than 80% of this sales volume has been driven by API. Has been driven by server connected to our API. So most of these sellers has been connecting through partners, which are the real pillars of our ecosystem. But this partner does not uh, does not only reach some sellers to sell discount. They do much more than that. They are the, our our proponents because as they sell their solution, they also sell indirectly our marketplace. They make available their expertise to DAO our sellers. Our sellers can benefit from that expertise on the e-commerce. The e and it's very important for us to stay competitive. And they give us feedback about our perform. And that point is very important because that's, uh, they, are real, they are connected to, our, to every marketplace 
in France and uh, all over the world. And uh, they can help us to identify our weakness and how to improve our platform. From this, we make a lot of, uh, a lot of work with our partners. We make a lot of surveys. We use statistics from our support. And we, we don't say that uh, we have a lot of things to improve, as you can see, uh, on the API part. So it's very important because in France, Siliscon is quite famous the marketplace and the most part of the e-commerce actor are already connected. But in the other country, we need to reach a new level of maturity to attract new partners. So from the partner's feedback, we identify four objectives. Improve the developer experience, accelerate the onboarding, increase the audience in general, and improve the security. And to uh, reach the objective, three focus a modification that the API, the authentication system, and uh, to improve the developer experience uh, at every step of the life cycle, an API management solution. On API authentication, we, uh, we comply to the standard of the market uh, with, uh, from a SOAP API, working on legacy endpoint uh, to a REST API uh, with a design for approach, very important to, to identify the need before to build the, the, the API. And uh, on, uh, on the authentication part, uh, stop to share the credentials, which was, uh, what was what not very secure. secure. And uh, work with the delegation system, OpenID Connect, and uh, IDP Keyclock. In addition, we wanted to, uh, to improve every step of the life cycle of our partner, from the API knowledge to the production. So to start, we need a beautiful website, a portal with a mar marketing approach to highlighting the, the business opportunities to our develop developers and uh, the, real, the technical reliability. And uh, in addition, we need proponents uh, from our ecosystem and uh, as much as we could to, uh, to have more visibility. Uh, a service registration to make the onboarding more fluent. Uh, clear documentation uh, with standards, swaggers, uh, some code samples in different language and a sandbox to help to test uh, every API easily. Uh, a, team, a dedicated team support to help and to support our developers from the development to the production. Uh, SDK in several languages and uh, an, app store, an app store to, to allow developers to provide application to our sellers and to help sellers to benefit from their expertise. And then some metrics on the production to allow the, the, our partner to manage the application on, uh, on our production. So uh, then, Nicolas, if you want to uh, share your, your presentation for the next step and the solution. Yes, thank you, Greg. Um, I'm trying to share my screen, but actually I have, uh, I can now, okay, thank you. All right, is it good? Do you see my screen? Yes, it's okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Greg. So That's I'm going perfect. to just can you put it full screen. Sorry. Can you make it full screen? Yeah, I think now it's good. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's okay now. Good. Yeah, so thank you, Greg, for, for this uh, introduction for, for the first part of the presentation. So like Greg said, uh, Cdiscount so define a uh, requirement in terms of uh, what they uh, want uh, on, on their new API management platform. And uh, they choose uh, Azure API management for to support them uh, during this uh, project. So basically, what is Azure uh, API management? 
let's start with uh, maybe the actors. So uh, I'm going to start with the API provider. Obviously, the discount in that case. So they, 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 they produce, they develop APIs that they want to uh, publish. Uh, these APIs, are commonly named backend APIs, are hosted in Azure, but also uh, it could be uh, hosted elsewhere, like uh, on their on-premise data center or another cloud. There is obviously applications that consume this API and their developers that uh, develop this application. So let's start with the developers. What they want is to discover, learn, try, try the API or get out of the API. And for that, we propose the Manage Developer Portal, which is uh, the first component of Azure API management. The API provider, like I said previously, they want to publish, but also version the API. They want to secure, add authentication, monitor their application, their, their API, obtain measurement, and uh, at the end also monetize the use of their API. And that can be achieved by the management plane in uh, Azure API management. They can deploy, administrate the, the platform uh, to, to achieve their goal. And the last component of uh, Azure API management is the gateway. It's a common, common component in the API world, I would say. It's really the core of the of the system where uh, uh, application calls API, backend API. So that's it for Azure API management. Um, so uh, we we start Cdiscount. Uh, uh, we start with Cdiscount uh, with the first uh, architecture, we see, which is represented here. Very simple uh, entry level, I would say, uh, architecture with our API management instance here in an Azure subscription. And uh, this Azure subscription is linked by VPN to uh, to um, the uh, Cdiscount uh, uh, on-premise network. Um, was to mention that their new API uh, is hosted on a Kubernetes cluster. They operate uh, on their own uh, network. So it is represented here. So uh, for this project, project we we identify four technical four main technical challenge. Uh, one is uh, to have a customizable portal. The other one is to integrate their uh, OpenID Connect provider with the platform. Third one is uh, a way to control their uh, network exposure. And the last one is the ability to uh, manage what we call hybrid scenarios. So I'm going to deep dive into these four uh, elements. And let's start with the customizable portal, which was really, uh, uh, which which is really important, very important for for set discount to attract uh, more partners and uh, and achieve their goals. So. Uh, API management uh, has uh, an embedded uh, WYSIWYG, so what you see is what you get, editor that enables uh, uh, API provider to customize uh, the, 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 the developer portal. So it's fully graphical. There is no need to code anything. And it's based on a framework uh, which is called paperbits.io. You can, you, can, uh, you can go to their website and, and see the framework in action. We use this framework and uh, we delivered one managed version of the developer portal with a, with a, with a, uh, a standard content package that you can customize uh, very easily. Uh, you can also fork the code and self-host it the, fork the code, apply your modification in case you have advanced things to do, advanced modification to, to, uh, to add like new widget and very, very advanced scenario. In, in this case, you can host, you can host, your, modify the code and host your, uh, self, your uh, developer portal anywhere. So the code is available, available on, on GitHub. And let me just show you, uh, if I can, um, their portal. So this is the portal of Cdiscount on Azure API management, really new version, uh, which will be released next week, if I'm not wrong, with their new API. And what you see is really a, a, 
what you get uh, uh, into the uh, admin portal. There is uh, people from Sendiskund did not code anything. They just drag and drop, use a graphical editor to produce uh, this portal. So let's go back to the presentation. Sorry. OK. Second objective, uh, really uh, also a really important one, was uh, the uh, ability to integrate API, uh, API management with their existing Keycloak uh, uh, identity provider. So for that, we use a component in the Azure, it, which is called Azure ID B2C, that enable uh, to uh, developers to customize the login experience of any application. So this service supports what we call external uh, uh, identity provider. So basically, uh, OAuth2 and OpenID uh, connect identity provider like Keycloak. And uh, Azure B2C uh, enable to us to do, to do the like, like like a bridge between this, the, this third party IDPs and uh, APIM. So we rarely uh, manage to integrate their existing IDP uh, into uh, APIM. And in, in, we don't use any Azure ID native solution or something, uh, something uh, like that. Third, third objective was the really uh, to, to, to control the, uh, the network exposure. So Cdiscount already had some assets into Azure and they, uh, they, they wanted to uh, reuse their firewall, all the plumbing, you know, in terms of network access uh, has to be reused. And for that, we use uh, the, the, the ability of Appim to, to, to integrate into a virtual network. And we, we from th that way, we, we manage to control all the, all the network flows uh, in, uh, from M2 uh, Appim. So uh, on the schema, we added this part with here the hub subscription containing the firewall. Last one, uh, new new use case, new scenario we we uh, we see more and more in many customers is the uh, ability to uh, uh, to manage uh, what we call on-premise to on-premise calls. So uh, if on this schema you can see that app, that Cdiscount has some internal application that want to use their own APIs, like partner have their, have their application and want to use the same APIs. But in the case of internal consumption, um, we, we, there, there is a, a benefit to have a gateway uh, installed on-premise on to, to, to avoid unnecessary uh, traffic to Azure. So we released this year what we call the self-hosted gateway, which is a containerized version of the same gateway that you, you have in Azure. And uh, we, we plan to, do, to use uh, this feature in, uh, in, the, in the architecture of Cdiscount. So benefit of the solution, uh, better developer experience with the developer portal and the customizable, uh, the, the, the customizable uh, feature. Faster onboarding time with the fact that we can integrate with their existing uh, Keycloak uh, IDP. Consistent performance uh, to support their large audience. So uh, as we are on managed services that um, uh, auto scale, all the, all the operational stuff is automatically managed. You have, you, you have the guarantee of a consistent performance across the solution. And last, uh, stronger security with the use of OpenID Connect with the network isolation and all that stuff. So basically, uh, what Cdiscount wanted to, to achieve can be achieved by, by the solution. So we, we started the project uh, in early October. And we we need we needed one month to produce uh, their MVP. Um, so it consisted of first scaling up the teams to Azure to Azure IPing to all the new uh, te new technology stack. Uh, we deployed three IPM instances and uh, released an initial developer portal. 
Um, we integrate the key clock into the key clock IDP and what we saw on this presentation, the vignette integration and so on. We also uh, started with some basic policies to enable throttling and quota uh, for, for their API. The good news is that their new API uh, will be open to the public next week, if I'm not wrong. Um, and we are, so as you see, we are still, uh, it's still uh, an in progress, uh, work in progress uh, project. We have still a lot to do. And basically, this is what's, what will come next. So adding the self hosted gateways, uh, adding a sandbox environment, advanced analytics and policies. We have a huge uh, topic about monetization, um, CI/CD, obviously, to automate uh, all the all the things from from the the configuration of the API management platform to the to the deployment of their of the API definition on on it. We also have some work on the uh, business continuity and disaster recovery, and lastly, and 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 uh, one also. Uh, important uh, topic is the, is the app store uh, that, that cities couldn't want to, to have to showcase um, application from them, their provider. So that's it. I think I'm, I'm on time for a question. Uh, yes, I think we're out of time. Just yes, to, to perfect, perfectly on time. If uh, perfectly on time, if we have a few, few minutes, just to finish, we really wanted to to communicate about our, uh, we want to make the improve the developer experience. Uh, you have to. Do, there are a lot of business opportunities on Cisco because we only have uh, sixty percent of our sellers connected to our API. Uh, a lot of sales uh, volume is uh, is generated through the API, but uh, there is so much things to do, and uh, spe specifically with the new features we will make available next next week. Yeah, so Before. for a question, an obvious question, uh, you answer uh, uh, to the much you can, right? But how did, let's say, the, the COVID like uh, big impulse on e commerce affected or impacted the EPI and the API management you put set up in place? Uh, but in fact, uh, there is a big impact of the activity of the e commerce in general. Uh, we have to set some, uh, some few things in general. <laughs> We are prepared for the the big e-commerce event as uh, the Black Friday, uh, Christmas uh, Christmas time, and things like this. And uh, we have to set uh, everything we all this specific uh, plan, but uh, in uh, during all the months of the COVID period, in fact. So yes, it was a, a big. The, the activity has been increased. Uh, very uh, and, increased by this by this event, in, in fact, and yeah. uh, we we have a big plan to to help uh, physical sellers, in fact, which wasn't selling online yet, but to help them to sell online. So it was uh, generate a lot of work on our side to help this seller to start to sell online. Because so that we, was a part of our uh, mission in this. Uh, so maybe more API consumers in uh, more than the 10,000 you have already, 18,000, a lot more in the future. Maybe question for Nicolas. So how did it scale? It's, it does uh, Azure API management has a, an auto scaling capability? Like how, how are you able to ensure that it will not fail? Yes, good question. <clears throat> um, actually, there is a um, different uh, tier uh, in our uh, Azure IP offer. And basically, in all Azure services, you have different tier with different performance and different uh, uh, service level uh, agreement, different level of availability. You have also uh, uh, the ability to um, deploy, deploy several uh, instances across the world. So. For the moment, uh, with say discount, we, we 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 have one one instance in one region. But our plan is to uh, increase those uh, this number of instances and uh, have a global footprint with different uh, in different region regions. So we are um, able to to provide a, 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 a higher availability. 
Yeah, and, and Gregory, so where can we know more about uh, uh, and engage with uh, Cdiscoon Developer Program? Uh, well, uh, we can share uh, some uh, some URL on uh, our uh, on our website. The developer portal uh, is uh, already online, and we will communicate uh, more from next week. Because, in fact, from next week, our new API is uh, is uh, will be available. So uh, the website is marketplace.cdiscount.com. Uh, we can find uh, every information you did. And uh, and ask for re registration, and uh, the support team will uh, will uh, be with you to to help you to register. Yeah, so don't hesitate to uh, reach us at API Days. Right, we had uh, two hundred thousand. We have two hundred thousand online members, but especially especially fifteen thousand developers and architects and business managers interested in APIs in France. So for next week, uh, send us mat some material. We can share. We can share the news. Thank you very much, Gregory. Thank you, Nicolas. We reach our time. Uh, yeah, Thanks it was a very great much. story and glad to know more about the story in the future and invite you again. Thank you. Thank for you. Looking Thank you. Bye. To see you again. Bye. Bye. And good luck for the launch. <laughs> <laughs>